Gwent is a game about armies clashing, where the players are commanders and the cards are their forces. Attack! Place a unit on the battlefield to add its value to your total score. The player with the highest score wins the round, and your goal is to win two rounds against your opponent. Simple, right? Here's the catch. Your opponent and you each get only 10 cards at the start of a game, and you'll draw only a very limited number of cards as play progresses. That means you have to play smart, you have to bluff, and in some cases you may want to lose a battle in order to win the war. There are three types of forces in Gwent. Melee units to engage in close combat. No mercy! Ranged units that include archers and mages. Enough! And heavy hitter siege weapons like ballistas and catapults. Apart from unit cards, you can also play special cards. Use magic potions to boost the power of your own units. Play weather effects that weaken forces on the row of your choice. Or sling cards like Epidemic to spread a deadly plague among enemy ranks. Recruit your army from among five factions. Each faction features unique cards which only it can use, and thus offers a different playstyle and favors different tactics. Seafaring warlords of Skellige are brutal and never rest. They exploit their ability to bring fallen brothers back into play. Close ranks! Within the Northern Realms, knighthood and chivalry reign supreme. The faction's charismatic commanders boost the power of soldiers already on the battlefield. We do what must be done. The Scoia'tael are non-human freedom fighters. Their guerrilla tactics include striking from the shadows and using all sorts of traps and ambushes. Many lost worlds. The monster faction is all about the unspeakable horrors that inhabit the world of the Witcher. Monsters breed, which involves card duplication. Long live the Emperor! The game's fifth faction, the Empire of Nilfgaard, makes expert use of spies who work behind enemy lines. Proceed according to plan. As you fight more battles, you'll gather the experience and resources you need to explore new and original tactics. You'll build your own decks, unlock new cards either by crafting them, or by buying kegs from Shoop, a card-dealing troll. Each keg contains four random cards, and a fifth one, guaranteed to be of higher value. You'll be able to choose one out of three. Whoa! But battling players from around the world in the game's competitive modes is not the only way to enjoy Gwent. It was a day like any other. Those looking for a story-driven experience will feel right at home in our single-player campaigns. In these adventures, you'll explore the world of The Witcher, expand your card resources, train your army, and forge your own path through a branching storyline created by the writers of The Witcher 3. But that's a tale for another time. See you around the Gwent table. Thank you.